St. John chapter 14, God is calling here for separation. He does not give us a reason for his commandments. When God tells you and I something, he expects that you will do it. He sees too much delays in our lives. Too much entanglements in our lives. And sometimes these delays that we have attached to is going to create death and survive. Because God loves you enough that if you have a, a terror in your life, you will kill it. He will take it out of your life. He killed Haran. So Abraham could fulfill his promises. Amen. Because God said, yeah, he killed Terah so that the promise of God could be fulfilled. God is a jealous God. Be careful of what we're doing to God. That he called you for service. And he see you hanging out with stuff that is of a meaning. God is a jealous God. Amen. When he says something, he expects man to keep his words. Second 14. 23. Just answer the said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. <coughs> and my father will love him, and we will, and we will come unto him and make our home with him. Here we see a fellowship with God comes only with unconditional surrender. Jesus said here, if a man loves me, he will keep my words. If we love God, it comes with unconditional. And if I love him, I will surrender my life to him. Amen. What he said? Surrendering our life to God unconditionally. He said, if I love him, if any man Love me, he will keep my words, mighty God. The problem is why we don't keep the commandments of God is because we don't have unconditional love for God. Amen. And because our love is not unconditional, we cannot unconditionally surrender to the man's will. Amen. Praise the Lord. We keep going back to family members. We keep going back to our country. We keep going back to our Father's house. Amen. Because our love of God is without conditioning. There is condition to it. If He does this to me, I'll do that. Amen. If He bless me, then I'll do this. <coughs> but our love of God must be so unconditional that we will give Him unconditional surrender to the will of God. And to surrender When his word says something, I'm supposed to submit myself to the word of God. Yes, Lord. And when we're doing that, we're walking in the laws of love. I surrender to the authority of God because God said so. When Peter went out fishing all night and he didn't catch nothing at all, Jesus came on the scene and said, cast your net out. Peter said, Lord, if you're all night uh, twirling and I'll catch no fish, but he said, because you said so, I will do it. So we see that, that Peter had unconditional love for Christ. He surrendered to the authority of the word of God. He said, because you said so, I will do it. And because he, 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 he um, surrendered to the authority of God's word, he threw out his net and he threw out so much. My God, so much times we're out here toiling, toiling, toiling. You know, saying that God said, uh, you know, I called you for service. Uh, I called you for duty. But you're all here toiling all night. Uh, but don't you know when they're coming down, I can come by you. I said, throw out your net. Uh, and if you only believe me, you'll be able to catch enough uh, that will allow you to do what God wants to do. Peter was on his job. Toiling all night. Amen. By his own strength, by his own mind. I'm sure at that time, he was And so I'm surmising 
baptism, Jesus put the water. We are his Peter. And so because they know the fun, they all go out and find him by the seaside fishing. Jesus, so loving and kind, did not so be harsh with him. He just said, throw out your nets. And when Peter was a very hot tempered guy, he never answered, you know, um, drugged him and said, he just said, because you said so, Lord, I'm going to do it. Amen. That shows that he surrendered to the authority of God's words. Brethren, when God's word tells you something, it is your job to surrender to what God word is saying so you can see the promise that God has in his words. Amen. You and I can know God's promises unless you surrender to the authority of his words. And that is when you walk in the laws of love. You can tell me that you love God and you don't keep his words. He said, a man love me, he will keep my sins. Whatever I said, that man will do it. Even the man don't have a reason for what I said, he will do it. You know, if God said to kill my Philistines, I'm going to go immediately and kill my Philistines. That's why I like Peter. Because when God saw him and his fishing net, he said, come, the man just dropped his net and left all and begin to follow Jesus Christ. Thank you. 